this uh, to uh, to end up beating some of the teams in this league. Coming up this week, Michigan State hits the road on Tuesday to take on Illinois, while Michigan squares off with Indiana on Wednesday night. Then both teams will resume their own rivalry on Super Bowl Sunday in East Lansing. For the Michigan Sports Brief, my name is Adam Ruff. <laughs> Lansing Sports Station, the game, 7.30 a.m., WVFN East Lansing, a cumulus station. Say, what is your company's trajectory? A Flagstar Bank says, why not plan for tomorrow by increasing your earning power today? And to help you do that, Flagstar is offering businesses a 1.15 annual percentage yield savings account. Not only is this a great rate of 1.15%, but equally impressive is that there's no checking account required, no minimum balance, and the rate is offered on deposits of up to $10 million. Here's something else you need to know about the largest bank headquartered in our state. Flagstar is invested in Michigan's success. It's your business, so count on the best. Flagstar, a bank you can trust to help keep your money moving forward with a full spectrum of business banking solutions. For details on their limited time offer, visit flagstar.com or just head into a branch near you. Restrictions apply, and remember, Flagstar is a member of the FDIC. From the Golden Tower of the Fisher Building in Detroit's new center. And around the world at WJR.com. This is the great voice of the Great Lakes. News Talk 760 WJR. Detroit. To move forward with a new leadership. An opportunity for the town to move forward with the healing that is next. Chat at 1210. Lots to do as we connect with the AM 800 News Center at 1201. Minus two inland for Essex with a chance of flurries this afternoon behind your plus three or 37 Fahrenheit. I'm Kathy McMahon, AM 800 News. This report brought to you by Parker Construction. Visit parkerconstruction.ca. Our top story this hour, a 21-year-old winter woman has now been charged in connection to a fatal crash early yesterday morning. They say a pickup truck was traveling eastbound on Riverside Drive when it lost control and slammed into a parked construction vehicle near Clover Avenue. A 23-year-old male passenger was killed. Stephanie Bravo was charged with impaired driving causing death. She remains in hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Damage to the two vehicles is $60,000. A double murder trial in Windsor continues today, and the girlfriend of one of the victims is testifying. AM 800's Harrison Medeiros has more from the downtown courthouse. Timothy Carter and Donald Dodd are charged with first and second degree murder in the beating deaths of two men, Peter Candace and Bias to the Zulu. Candace is going for this front. Hey, Rome, you gotta go here. <laughs> One of the biggest freak shows ever. Understand what it's like. Every single year, regardless of what city we end up in, it doesn't matter if it's a great town.